we'll get we'll get to my stuff. But before we do that, um, a little surprise for you guys. Um, my boy Jared Feather, he was in town. IFBB Pro, Jared Feather. Um, hey, look, I like to tell him like, bro, look at that. Left us for Hollywood. Um, so for those of you guys who don't know, Jared, he, um, hey, he, uh, he kicks it with the RP crew, the Renaissance Periodization crew, um, IPE professional natural bodybuilder at some point, obviously not no more. My homie's 245 pounds. Uh, so that's why I tell him, it's like, bro, look at that left us for Hollywood. However, um, really happy for him and all his success, man, 245 pounds. He's kept, um, his shape, his lines. He's been, um, super cautious with it. And I think most importantly, um, you know, I think for myself and a lot of, and, and, and all the coaches actually here in, in 3D Muscle Journey, like one of our main objectives is like to like leave the sport better than how we found it. Um, but, you know, it's like you can only do, we're kind of limited to our corner, right? Brian Miner joined us too. Uh, we got, we got, uh, we got, uh, we got my boy out of the house and, and we had a, a good time. We'll get back to that. But the thing with with Jared and why I, I'm so just uh, proud of my dude and I am um, I have a lot of belief in his stock is simply because, uh, you know, people want to see, uh, you know, uh, proof is in the pudding. Right. And he's going to go super far as a natural pro. I think in a few years he would have been like right up there with like the best middleweights in the world. So, you know, he had a. Uh, he had his, he, everything was aligned to like for him to like just do his thing here. But I tell you what, on the other side, on the IFBB side of things, he is going to be a force for for the foreseeable future. And with that comes, again, um, us natural bodybuilders. We get uh, a lot of um, you know the the newest, uh, the more sophisticated, uh, the stuff that uh, you know just has. Uh, <laughs> just has, yeah, I, I, yeah, more scientific backing behind it. Like, we get first dibs at that. Because, again, we only have so many variables to play with. The, the margin of error is a little different when, when, you know, you're doing this drug-free. So, on the other side, it's like, man, I see there's just so much, so much, um, yeah, just, <laughs> we need to revamp things a little bit on that side. And when you have someone as talented as him, you can't help but notice it. And, um, along with that, you know, uh, my dude is, uh, yeah, he is, uh, he is practicing, uh, and preaching the good word. So that's going to help our sport tremendously in the foreseeable future and, uh, and, uh, and in, in the distant future. And, and I look forward to seeing that. So super dope to have him here. We had a lower body day and to be honest, I think we only got through two movements. I think we did like eight working sets and all just because, um, you know, we get to see each other maybe twice a year. So big part of this and, you know, with everyone else's schedule and everything else going on, that's what we ended up doing. We just like loitered on top of the, the reverse hyper after we got through these pendulum squat sets and just, um, talked about a little bit of everything. So, um, so yeah, this baby right here, I was definitely excited to, to show these boys, uh, what, what this one do. So we had, we, this is the first time I've ever had access to a, a pendulum squat and the way i'd kind of rank it is hey you know i think a leg press is probably this bronze medal hack squat probably the silver medal and this one right here is like your gold medal uh quad builder for sure it took me a while to get used to this actually more than anything it took me a while to like not get totally wrecked from this it's like i'm finally at the point where um it doesn't overlap with my other lower body days my quad dominant day um and we weren't using a whole lot of load. This is one of those where, man, you have, uh, it, you're going to be fine in regards to loading for a good while. I think, um, think, um, yeah, Jared was using three plates and a quarter. Uh, Brian and I were using two plates and a quarter. And, and that was like, that's, that's plenty. And there's plenty of space left on it as well. So, um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is what we did. This contraption here, uh, is definitely going to be, um, yeah, it's just, it's a novelty item for me, especially this year where I'm like, you know what? I think last off season, probably even the off season before, like when it came to quads, I was probably a little lax about it. And I'm like, you know what? We could afford to put a little bit more into those things and just really make them an extra strong point. Because again, um, I'm, I'm not the biggest dude. That's just wasn't in the cards for me, but those quads, they stand out. 
that front relax shot, first impression, these judges are human. So if I show up with some quads that it's hard to forget, um, who know, that I think that can play to my advantage. So I'm really excited about just, again, getting better at this one, uh, really committing to <laughs> digging deep when it comes to those quad workouts. And, uh, and, and, and yeah, I think already, already, there's just a, a, there's some new features there that I've never seen. I don't think I've ever had um, quad striations in, for example, my, my chair drops. Usually they've just been this big round muscle, but I think that's what I see. We will see. But, um, but yeah, so it's, it's, it's been working. And, uh, and again, um, it hasn't necessarily been at the cost of other things. Um, so I guess, yes, here it comes. Where have I been? So, um, not in the gym as much as I would have liked, uh, nor has my uh, fat loss phase gone as smoothly as I would have liked either. Um, and, and, you know, usually, um, yeah, I try to, I do a good job of not letting personal matters um, interfere with, you know, this. But this was definitely one of those occasions where, okay, like, we just needed to take some time out to sort some personal things. Um, I don't feel, I, I don't necessarily feel like it's, well, personally, I just don't feel comfortable sharing a lot of, uh, of, of that side on the personal end. But I'll tell you what, it's going to happen to everyone at some point. At some point, um, you know, the, the more important things in life uh, will, uh, will kind of get in the way. Um, and, and, you know, one thing that I've learned from you know, doing this long enough is it, Hey, you know, it, it doesn't discount the many years of training. And I was, for the most part, able to get right back in there and, uh, and, and commence things from where I, I left off. Um, and, uh, you know, again, you try to look at the net positives. And the net positives, positives were uh, just the fact that I really missed my training. Um, just the fact that, um, or, or the fact that I just, I felt like nice and good and fresh and ready to, to get after it. So a few decades of training will, will definitely do that to you. So... Uh, but honestly, the most important part is just being like fresh up here. Now here's Cynthia doing her uh, Romanian deadlift. Super proud of her when it when it comes to these. Um, she's uh, again like the amount of mass that she has put on uh, over the last six months has been amazing. Um, and I think I definitely would say she's yeah she surprised me in regards to how well she has responded uh, to training. Maybe at some point we'll get into the details behind that, but. Um, you know what, like, again, you've been doing this long enough, sometimes, um, yeah, your motivation, your excitement tends to flicker. So being in a gym with someone who is just overall new to this, that helps tremendously. Being in there with someone who is just, um, you know, they still want theirs. Like, the, the, you know, the, the hunt just started. Um, in my case, I've, yeah, it's like I have to stop and think, and it's like, man, um, and this is, I guess, you know, I don't want to tell you guys other stuff, but this is definitely something that I have been struggling with, like, I'd say the last, like, four or five years, is just, I, I don't know if my maturity levels and the kind of love that I have for bodybuilding has just evolved into something differently. You know, it's just kind of like new relationship, it's like you and Lust, right? You see them, you, you know, your your insides flutter, right? Um, and, and, like, now we, we've just been doing this, you know, for a long, long time. It's like I don't see myself, like, ever stopping training but it's a little bit different and I will say that it's it's easy to find yourself falling asleep a little bit um so you know again I think it's going to happen to everyone at some point I, I never thought it would happen to me where my motivation to train get after it to really pursue something to get in there and get to get in the gym like basically like I have something to prove would kind of you know flounder on me a little bit I, I never thought I'd see that just because I was always kind of you know in some ways like I was doing this like you know I was doing this before it was like cool right the do you even lifting wasn't like not it, was, it wasn't like a pop culture um phrase slash meme thing right and um so yeah it was it was rougher to do it in a less than supportive environment but nevertheless like I was totally fine with it and uh and now um yeah, it's just, it's, it's been a little different, but nevertheless, it's, um, you know, I go back and I'm like, man, some of my happiest times in my life have been whenever I've been just like 
getting after it, being a little obsessive, being a little nutty. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm still sorting that out and I'll share more with you guys as I figure out more. Um, but, but again, like I'll always train, always go in there and work hard, but there's just that extra gear that I think a hungry lifter that again is still trying to get their piece. Um, that I, I think you need, especially once you've been training this long in order to make um, any sort of obvious progress. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, as of right now, I'm back uh, about two-ish weeks, three-ish weeks. And when it comes to just going hard with the diet, I still need to take my shirt off for you guys um, and, and, and show you guys what it is that I'm working with. Honestly, weight for the most part um, was around 197 when we got going with this. It's Burdett Lloyd usually does the first few weeks, got myself like down to like 189, 188, and then I've kind of just flatlined there. So, whew. so yeah, but, uh, but again, that little, um, yeah, that little break definitely made me realize how much I just, I need this, um, and, um, uh, how perhaps I need to just change my perspective a little bit and, and, um, yeah, yeah, adjust and tweak certain things within the system so and again um surrounding yourself with like younger lifters that you know still want their peace i think that is definitely something that uh that yeah that, that I'd, I'd recommend anyone in a similar situation to myself um, um try to do so so yeah um so yeah this is more than anything just getting things rolling um i'm bench pressing again look forward to seeing that thing move uh close grip bench pressing and um and yeah just um just again Thank you guys for all the patience, all the support. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, you guys are exactly what I've always wanted. You know, like, again, I told you guys, I was doing this when it was, like, weird and just the thing, that thing that Bert does in the evenings. Uh, and now I have you guys here, you know. So a lot of things when it comes to life and, like, my training life, they're what I wished for when I was, like, in my late teens, early 20s. Um, so I have it. I don't take that for granted. Not at all. Um, but, uh but yeah, nevertheless, I think um, that is a huge source of inspiration for myself is just like, again, lead by example, leave this better than how I found it. And, um, and yeah, just continue to do the, the, the damn thing, right? So um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. See you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed this entry. And um, yeah, let's, let's do it again.